Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, crop images and shapes in Photoshop CC. I'm actually going to be cropping in uh, circles and I'm actually going to be making some advanced circles as well and I'm actually going to uh, also crop in other shapes so I'm going to show you how all this works. Uh, while I have another video that shows you how to uh, crop circles in an older version of Photoshop I figured I'd show you how to do it in, in Photoshop CC. So if your uh, image layer is locked, simply double click it to unlock it. And now simply go here and make sure that Ellipse tool is selected. If you have a default install, you'll have a rectangular tool selected. So simply right click and left click on Ellipse tool. And then make sure that path is selected. You might have shape, so just change it to path here. And now simply create a new layer by clicking this icon here and now simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard and hold down the left mouse button and drag uh, till your circle is the size that you want it to be don't worry about the positioning because we can always reposition the circle afterwards so once you are happy simply release the mouse button and then release the shift key and now right click on the circle here and simply left click on fill path and I'm going to choose black for the path here and you will see why I'm doing this uh, later on so now simply position the circle where you'd like uh, it to be and if you'd like to see it better simply change the opacity like so so that you can see where the circle really is and um, I'm actually going to duplicate this layer it's not necessary to do this I'm actually duplicating so that I can show you something else later on so if you want to follow along simply do so so right click and left click on duplicate layer and I will right click and left click on duplicate layer once more and now what I will do is I will hide these other layers that are over here because I will use them later on by simply clicking on the eye and I will make sure that this layer is selected and now what I will do is I will go to the magic wand tool here if you had the quick selection tool simply right click and left click on magic wand tool and now simply go to your shape here back to your shape and click so that you have um, the circle selected. Note that if you do not have uh, the whole background like so selected it would look like if you only have this part selected simply go to select and then left click on inverse to have the background selected and then go to your image here and go to edit and then left click on clear and do it once more because I actually cleared the path there if your background didn't uh, get cleared and now I have uh, cleared the background of the model here and I have a perfect circle shape so I will right click and I will left click on deselect and now what I'll do is I'll make this other layer appear so I will go to the image here and what I'll do because what I want is I want this part of the head to stick out from the circle so I will take this regular marquee tool here and I will simply drag to the parts that I don't want to show and I will go to edit and I will go to clear like so and now I have only the top part of the head here so what I will do is I will right click and left click on deselect and now what I'll do now I can actually get rid of this circle I can simply hide it or delete that layer and now I'm simply going to take the quick selection tool here so I will right click and left click on quick selection tool and I will make sure that this layer right here is selected the one with the woman in it here this part here I'm actually holding down my option key on the keyboard and in your case if you're on a windows it might be the alt key and I will simply drag here I'm holding down that option key and holding down the left mouse button and I'm dragging and now I will go to edit and I will clear and now I have the top part 
uh, cleared out as well so I will right click and deselect and as you can see now I have this and now I can merge this layer down by simply right click and left clicking on merge down and now I have uh, a circle shape with uh, the models head sticking out here at the top and now I'm going to hide this layer and I'm going to show this other layer here that I saved earlier and now I'm going to crop in a different shape so what I'm going to do is I'm going to again create a new layer and I'm going to go to my ellipse here and I will go to custom shape and right now I have the heart selected so now I will simply make sure that path is selected here like before and I will hold down the shift key once more and I will make this heart and when I'm happy with the size I will release the left mouse button and then I will release the shift key and then I will go here where it says make and I will left click on make selection and I will choose the feather radius and zero is ok and I will click ok here and then I will go to edit and I will go to fill and I will fill with a color I'll use black like so and now I will go to select and I will go to deselect and now I will go to the move tool here and I will simply position the heart where I want it to show in this case here and I will change the opacity just to see where it will show up and now that I'm happy with where it is I will go to my magic wand tool here and I will click around the heart and again I have this background selected again if you don't you go to select inverse or select inverse again and then I simply left click on the, this layer here that I want to uh, cut out and then I go to edit and then I go to clear like so and now I can get rid of the heart and now I can right click and deselect and since I have this part here if I show it up again and move it down here as you can see I have uh, this selected like so then I select my rectangular marquee tool here and I simply select the area that I want to clear and I go to edit and clear and now I right click and deselect and there I have a heart shape with the head showing as so. So now to crop you simply go to the crop tool and simply place it where you want it to crop like so and then just double click and now your uh, shape has been cropped. So thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com